All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're out here at the gathering put together by Palmetto State Armory at the Clinton House Plantation down here in good old South Carolina. Gorgeous day. Rained like hell last night. So a little bit of uh, wetlands coming up, especially on the way in. But one of the things I wanted to uh, show you guys, and this is really cool because PSA again, branching out, partnering up with a couple other firms. And this is Mike with h and r and uh, he's got some really neat and unique firearms, and I thought it'd be interesting to go ahead and show you. Mike, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to uh, meet you. Why don't we do this? I'm gonna change the camera around so that he can show you some of the stuff that it, they have now and some other things to tell you about some other things that are coming up. So here we go. All right, so this is the uh, M16A1 type that we're gonna bring out. These are gonna be uh, made on our proprietary forging dies. Uh, these dies are the same dies that I used at Nodak Spud when I was the owner there. And we're going to come out with complete rifles, uh, parts, stripped uppers, stripped lowers, all kinds of different stuff. We will eventually be doing some carbine variants. I'd like to do an XM 72, probably a uh, Colt, Colt 653 clone, maybe an Israeli model mm -hmm. with battlefield pickup finish, something like that. But uh, really, I want to focus on providing uh, quality components for the home builders. I know that a lot of you guys really like to build your own retros and use as many original parts as possible. So, so we want to cater to that. And uh, this is just a uh, quick, quick and dirty version we did on a Nodak lower. But we're going to have full H&R markings on the guns. We're going to do uh, 1 and 12 twist 20 inch barrels. We're also going to do some 1 and 7 inch 20, bar 20 inch barrels. Some uh, shorty 12.7s and some 14.7 uh, with a pin and welded flash hider. That's cool. Now, uh, Mike, you and I were in the Army at about the same time. Yes, so we were. I think you and I both have a little bit of time behind something that looked a lot like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course, the ones that we carried weren't this pretty. Oh, no. Oh, man. And you can, and it's amazing to even try to get us to qualify with the things because they rattled around like a fancy. They were pretty worn out by that time. You know, yep. late 80s, they were worn out pretty bad. Um, I actually had a front pivot pin fall out on a range <laughs> once while I was shooting the rifle. Wow. Uh, stuck it, you know, figured out what was going on, performed sports, put the pin back in. I'll tell you what, I love oh, yeah. the A1 grip. Um, the upper is beautiful, and I love that delta-shaped uh, handguard, the old school, and oh, yeah. uh, man, pencil barrel, that's beautiful. Lightweight, just the way uh, Eugene Stoner intended it. That's it. Well, thank you so much for taking your time. Let me ask you a question. What kind of other things do you have coming up? What You've got a couple other items well, here. Here's the other cool okay. stuff we're doing. So we're going to be doing a... 635-ish, 9 millimeter. Yeah, nice. This particular lower isn't the lower that I'm going to be doing for the retro. Yeah. Um, this is uh, a PA9. That's the only thing we had in house. But we're going to do the, the full forging. Model 635. It'll be marked SG. Nice. I love the logo, by the way. Uh, I tell you what, I took a shot of it earlier. That's it. But if you guys look at this right here, look at that logo on there. That's the first thing I noticed this morning was, man, that, that is really cool. Outstanding. We also might be doing an N23 clone. This is that yeah. super shorty PW <laughs> that never really was made. I think they did one or two prototypes. This is kind of a hot thing on the internet right now. There's a uh, recoil did a uh, article on it. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, we can bring something like this to market pretty easy. I think that'd be pretty cool. We're sitting out here with Mike. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, guys, I'm, I am i don't get excited about firearms anymore, really, because, well, you, what you have a thousand of them, and <laughs> it is what it is. But when I do get excited about something, that right there got me excited. So with that being said, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Y'all be good.